Who brings Ruth to be married to Dan? Her mother and I. You may be seated. All of us are persons who are significant to Ruth and Dan, and this is why they called us to share this beautiful service of marriage. They wish to unite their lives and dedicate themselves to the happiness and to the well-being of each other. So it is our task this evening to give our blessing upon this couple as we celebrate with them in the ceremony of love. Uh, this is a, a very significant time for us as family and friends as we come together to give support to Dan and to Ruth. Uh, they are so much part of our lives. They are our loved ones. They love us. We love them. When uh, vows are shared in uh, weddings, though, it's important for all of you to remember that we share the same vows. We remember our own commitments in life, and our friendships, and our families, um, and in our marriages. And we remember these vows, which you will hear once again tonight, to be together for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, sickness and in health, and uh, those are vows that you are making a commitment uh, tonight as well. Whether you knew it before you came here, you know it now. I'm going to ask all of you to say these vows right along with Dan and Ruth, which uh, may be a little bit unusual, but it's, I think, very significant. All right? Because in their family, they can't do it alone. They need all of you. Uh, that's what vows and commitments are about. In, in the church, whether it's the Methodist church or the Catholic church or the Congregational church, uh, we have baptisms and we have weddings, we have funerals, and when we have a baptism, we ask uh, the whole congregation to stand for the child because that child will be embraced by the new family of God. And uh, when we have a funeral, there is a grieving person there, or persons, and they need the help of the rest of the family, church family and others, to help them through that very difficult time. And so it is with weddings. Because with weddings, uh, Dan and Ruth can't make it alone. They need all of you. So when there's sickness in the family, you're going to be there to show up. You're going to be there to watch me. You're going to be there to take care of Abby. You're going to be there. When things are worse, in other words, if they're having a disagreement or an argument, once again, you're going to be there. You're going to give them your advice. They may not want it, you're going to give them. You're going to tell them what you think they should do. Together. You're not going to stand with Dan. You're not going to say, Stan, you're the man, uh, Dan, you're the, uh, man in the family, so you're always right, and Ruth is always wrong. And likewise, Ruth looks just gorgeous, by the way. Just beautiful. Dan, you're pretty good too. to <laughs> say, uh, this is a, this is a, a married family, and we're not going to uh, support one and not the other. You need to support them as a couple. So, all of those who are able are invited to please stand up. So let us all say these words together. Um, by the way, this is the first time I've uh, tried this. Uh, usually I just uh, say something like, uh, you know, we'll, you'd be there for Dan and Ruth for better for us, but no, I think it's nice if we all say the vows together. So, repeat after me. We, we the loved ones of Dan and Ruth, give a blessing upon their marriage.
and because you don't get off that easy. Ruth and Dan, I've watched your love blossom. I've watched the two of you meet. I've heard all of this from son Dave here. He's given me the inside story about all of this. And I was just thinking about this on the way over today because I was having a discussion and sometimes an argument with my wife had. And she will tell me when to stop. That's why I'm not looking at her. I just thought of the most wonderful thing, and it has to do uh, with all the things that come into our life, lives, and sometimes things that are so unexpected. But it has to do with uh, something I had heard on the radio not too long ago, uh, a program uh, on beings, the name of the program. It's a very interesting thing, but uh, it was about a gentleman, and he went into business, international business, and finance, and uh, majored in that, and then he decided to do this for his life, uh, and discovered after a few years it really wasn't for him. And instead, he thought, well, maybe I should go into real estate, right, Ethan? So uh, he uh, did that for a few years, and then the housing market collapsed in the early 1990s. And then he decided he wanted to be a lawyer, that's plan C, and uh, decided to go to law school, which he did. He, he did that for six months and was so unhappy doing that that he left law and uh, decided that uh, he would become inner city minister. Can you imagine that? And since 1998, I think, he has been doing this in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, very happy to do this as well. Um, I thought of Catherine, too, because in her life, you probably have no idea where this is going, but <laughs> in her life, she majored in Spanish and in art then she went on to become uh, a librarian, got her master's degree. And that didn't work out, and then she became a teller at a bank. That uh, ended when David was born, and then uh, after that, uh, she decided to try to sell the children's books. Well, after that, uh, she uh, came down with a syndrome that paralyzed her body, and she ended up going into nursing school. And now she's a nurse over the last 18 years. Now, who could have imagined that that would happen? How could you two have imagined that you would be like this? Well, isn't it just absolutely like a dream? Here, the two of you are together. And as we're coming over on the cab ride here, and something we discovered when we were in London, we couldn't have been able to get anywhere without something called a GPS. And when you go in the wrong direction, what happens? It says, you're going in the wrong direction, but we'll go with it. And then it becomes the right direction. And then you go over here, and it becomes a, you keep recalculating. And I think that word, recalculate, is something every one of us can identify with in our life, right? There are no mistakes. Don't look at your life as a mistake. That doesn't happen. Look at building upon one experience after another. And the, everything adds. Uh, it, it's not subtracted, it's added to. And that's what I see with the two of you. I see that with our son Dave, who's working in the vaping juice business, or whatever you want to call it. There's a name for this thing. <laughs> and you recalculate. You just discover all of these new things about one another. So, my word to you, I think, for your marriage is, you will adapt to each other, you will bow, and you will discover wonderful things. Do it together, and enjoy this love, and always uh, remember that nothing is lost, everything is gained, recalculated. Amen. <laughs>
in the holy state of matrimony, will you love her and comfort her and honor her and cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep the only under her, so long as you both shall live? And Ruth would take Dan to be your wedded husband to live together in the holy state of matrimony. Will you love him and comfort him, honor him, and cherish him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keep the only unto him, so long as you both shall live. I will. And does Dan's family give their blessing upon this marriage? Does Ruth's family give their blessing upon this marriage? We do. And do all of those here present give their blessing upon this marriage? We do. I grant all of these thy servants the grace to perform as they have so promised. Amen. And now, Brother Chris has a blessing for all of you, too. <clears throat> love, I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am, when I'm with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish weak things that you can't help dimly seeing there and for drawing out into the light all of the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make of the lumber of my life not a tavern but a temple. Out of the works of my everyday, not a reproach, but a song, I love you, because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good, and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Perhaps that is what being a friend means, after all. Beautiful tokens and pledges symbolize the purity and the never-ending love that you have for your chosen companion in life. This ring I give to you, Dan. This ring I give to you, Dan. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. Bring I give to you, Ruth. Swing I give to you. In token and in pledge of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And fighting love. Amen. There are many uh, celebrations in weddings, uh, including unity candles and ceremonies. Uh, Dan and Ruth have decided to choose a very unique and beautiful ceremony. It's called the Ceremony of the Hands. And uh, 
I will share these uh, with you. Uh, unless you would like to read them, I'm not sure what we do tomorrow. I'm going to move right over here. That way everybody can see your hands as they're embracing each other. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your families one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious God, creator of all life and love, we give thanks that you give great blessing upon Ruth and Dan bless them in your name, that they may keep these vows and these covenants now between the made. Look graciously upon them, O God, that they may love and honor and cherish each other, and so live together in patience and in wisdom, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us how to pray and sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. they would like a little private time here. <laughs> it is now an honor and privilege for me to introduce to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Thomas Lewitsky.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grand Balloon Ballrooms. How are y'all doing this evening? Yeah, are you ready to have some fun? Are you ready to meet that bridal party? Yeah! First up, we've got groomsman Mike Grant and bridesmaid Amanda Grant. Next up, we've got groomsman Josh Bennett and bridesmaid Danny Bennett. And next up, we've got groomsman Chris Lorum and bridesmaid Sam Gover. You had, thinking you had finished enjoying your life. We had to revi revive you, which meant watching every drama se TV series you could find, and countless fast food trips with your sisters, where we talked about our feelings and ate them as well. <laughs> um, but in the middle of this, while you're putting pieces of your life back together, you somehow met Dan. Um, Dan, <laughs> after 
after she got to know you through uh, e-cigarettes online, I remember how nervous she was to meet you for the first time. And uh, a few days before she met you at the Mr. E. Liquid party, we were in the Stensky kitchen, me, Ruth, and Mary Ellen, uh, and a fifth of Captain Morgan. <laughs> Ruth was doubting herself and tried talking her way out of going to the party, but to no avail. And I'm so glad she didn't, because she would have missed out on you. Because of you, I've seen Ruth restore the same happiness she had before, only this time it's because she is truly loved and appreciated for everything she is. As for you, Ruth, <laughs> there's something important I have to say. Not long ago, you said you wondered what kind of woman I would be when I'm 27. And now I think I have my answer. Ruth, my hope, my dream, despite life's pains, struggles, and hard-learned lessons, is that I will become at least half of the woman you are today. Congratulations to both of you. And Dave, here's next man of mine. Oh. <laughs> Best man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I also also don't have the memory to memorize, so we both have this written. And as I was looking for something to write this in, I stumbled upon something that you will recognize in Dan's handwriting. Take a break and vape. Take a break and vape with me. Take a break and vape, you're on the air with Mr. E. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it was a hit on our second show, Play That Live. And uh, I believe Mrs. Ruth, you might have been watching. Yes, big fan of our show. Um, Dan and Ruth, more than, more than the world, to me, to us, family, friends. A match made in vape heaven. If anyone has ever been confused or unaware of what love truly is, Ruth and Dan provide some clarification. The results of their love include staring at each other, laughing uncontrollably at times, not wanting to keep their hands off one another, but most importantly being there for each other. Very quickly, Dan and Ruth became patient with one another, understanding of one another, and connected with one another. It seems like whatever happens, no matter how severe, Dan and Ruth tend to find a way to not only fix it, but to make it better. I have had the pleasure of seeing Abby and Nathan grow up and mature over the past two years. I'm sure a lot of us are in the same boat. Um, Dan and Ruth know the importance of caring and loving for each other, as well as Abby and Nathan. We all look forward to watching their family grow and continue to grow. I've had the pleasure of meeting and being with the wonderful families of Dan and Ruth, who have taught me strong, or taught them strong family values that will continue to be passed down from generation to generation. From playing poker, to naming flavors, baking awesome little cookies with Reese's inside. Reese's seriously inside the cookie. Um, <laughs> From Vape Nectar to Pure Michigan, GTFO to Rueberry, and Grey Matter to Strawberry Angel. Here's the Dan and Rue. I'm gonna have a toast to several long-lasting years of endurement, of strength, of encouragement, and love. Here's the Dan and Rue. Thank you. I guess I'll say something too. Um, forgot I was supposed to, but I'll wing this. It's not going to be hard at all. Um, when I was thinking about what I was going to say, 
Um, it came very easy to me. Um, I just wanted to say who Dan Lewitsky is to me and who Rue is to me as well. Um, Dan Lewitsky is a life-changing experience. Every, everyone that comes in contact with him is better for it. Changing everyone's lives and taking us out of the gutter, making it possible to live, possible for me to have a baby soon, finding out what it is. Um, Rue, you are the sparkle of Dan's eye. I see that every time he looks at you. Um, Dan, I just wanted to thank you for the family that you've created with Mr. E-Liquid, your pride and joy. Um, you walk with confidence. Uh, you're proud of with what you do and what you've created, and as well you should. So thank you for everything that you've done. And uh, from me and everyone at Mr. E-Liquid, we love you. Uh, yeah, that's it. And blow it up. Who do you 
love the most in the whole world. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. stress you're going to have in the next week to two and have a wonderful time. We all are. Congratulations! Hey Dan and Ruth, congratulations and hope you enjoy your home and make it very nice and inviting. Congratulations so much. Have a great honeymoon and we'll see you later. Hey Dan and Ruth, we loved your wedding today. Hope you hope you have a very long, happy and wonderful life to live. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dan and Ruth, on your wedding. Um, just great. I'm just glad we can all be here to celebrate on, uh, on your special day. Welcome. 
welcome to the Lewitsky Edwards family. We love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Dan and Ruth. Okay, we just saw Charles and Betty Edwards. We just want to wish Dan and Ruth a very happy life together. Um, we've been married for 49 and a half years, so hopefully you guys will do the same. Hi, Dan. Hi, Ruth. You got married today? Yeah. So we're, we're, we're at the reception right now. I think you're, you're standing. There they are. They're right over there. Uh, congratulations. Ceremony was beautiful. Uh, the reception's wonderful. Uh, I'll see you soon. As I'm your brother and brother-in-law now, uh, so best of luck. Uh, I'm sure that the future holds great things. Love you both. The only advice I can give you after being married for almost five years myself is don't ever go to bed angry at each other. Always settle it before you go to bed. Congratulations, Stan and Ruth. Your wedding was beautiful. It made me cry. I love you guys. Hi Dan and Rue, I wish you both the best and have a happy life together. You guys are awesome. Dan and Rue, it was a good time. Hope you guys have fun for you know the rest of your lives. Thanks for having us all here. Uh, good luck. And Dan, piece of advice, just pretend that she's always right because that's how it's going to be. Hey guys, congratulations. This is My name is Evan. Um, I work for you, Dan. Um, congratulations guys, your wedding was beautiful. Um, I cried at my wedding more than you, so there's that. Um, have a great honeymoon, and I'll see you when you get back. Bye. Hugs. Hey, Dan and Ruth. I'm super happy for you guys. You're awesome. You both look great. The wedding was beautiful. Have fun on your honeymoon, and I can't wait for you guys to get back. Hi, Ruth and Dan. Congratulations. Love you guys. Um, Ruth, I know how long you've waited for this. I know how much you dreamed of the guy who would, you know, capture your heart and you finally found him and congrats. I love you guys and can't wait for your future together. Congratulations, Dan and Ruth. May you be as happy as your Uncle Norm and I. Right, Dan and Ruth, got to kiss each other. We're happy for you. We're so glad that you found each other. Congratulations, Ruth. You were beautiful. I love you. Congratulations, uh, Ruth and Dan. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I love you, Ruth. Um, you've been there for me through a lot, and I appreciate you being a wonderful sister to me. And um, I love you. Wonderful marriage. Hey, congratulations you guys. Have lots of fun. Whatever you do, have fun in life. If you stop having fun, then it's time to go to sleep. Hi Ruth and Dan. Congratulations on your wedding and I hope you have many anniversaries to celebrate in the future. Congratulations Dan and Rue. Um, always say I love you. Dan, <laughs> Rue. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for bringing me into the business. You've made a great opportunity for both of us, and we love you. Thank Have a good you. Life. Congratulations. Yep. <laughs> Hi, baby. I love you, and I'm so happy to be your wife. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I can't wait for the rest of our lives together. It starts today. Hi, sweetie. It was excellent. Today was so fun. I love you so much, and I'm so happy that we found each other. I love you forever and ever, and I can't wait to spend two weeks with you on our honeymoon. It's gonna be awesome. I love you so much. Bye. Perfect. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Watching the night sky, all the beautiful sunrise. Well, there's so much they hold, and just like them old stars, I see that.
But you've come so far To be right where you are How old is your soul? Well, I won't give up on us Even if the skies get
have Dan and his special mom, Bonnie, if you could please join Dan up on the dance floor for this special dance. <laughs>
We know she is since she got her own class. We know swimming in the money, come and find me. Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I ball. Chemo, drop the reason, take the sound like an album. Who the thought a country by two would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an ex like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal, I did it without one. Yeah, nah, I'm about my business. Killing up these rappers, you would swear I had. I'm waiting.